All right, it's time for my solo cross country. We are going to head about 50 nautical miles north. Should take a little over 30 minutes. Land, come back here. Now, it's been kind of windy today, more so windy up there, but it's dying down and I'm nervous. I am- Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by how awkward I am right now, I'm very nervous just to be by myself. I am confident, I know I have the skills to do it all by myself, but it's just, this is my first time going for a long time without my instructor and a longer distance. So I've done two solos, but this will be my first long one. I think maybe it's the anticipation of this one because I should have done this like a week ago and now I've just been thinking about it. So let's go get it done so I can stop thinking about it. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh yeah, it's bumpy. That's all right. Just going for a cruise. All by myself. Watertown Municipal Airport, Watertown, South Dakota. Automated weather observation, 2245 Zulu. Wind 340 at 10. Visibility 10. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, 42 Lima, south of the field, uh, 10 miles at 3000. I'm gonna be entering the upwind for 35, Watertown. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fort Lima is five miles to the southwest. I'll be entering a upwind for 3-5, Watertown. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fort Lima, joining upwind for 3-5 at 2,700, Watertown. Watertown traffic, Archer 3696 is on uh, west base for 3-5, Watertown. Maybe too close. Uh, 696 has upwind traffic in sight. We're gonna slip in here to 35 on our left base. Watertown. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fortu Lima, turning crosswind for 35. Watertown. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fortu Lima, on downwind for 35. Watertown. Clear. Watertown traffic, Archer 3696 is clear, 3517 taxi back to the ramp, the yeah, Alpha Watertown. Hey, 696, how is it up there right now? It's getting a little better, it's still a little bumpy, but a lot better than it was, so. Got yeah, that's, that's all right, cool, thank you. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fort Lima turning final for 3-5, Watertown. Why to the number? Hold it. Watertown traffic, Cessna 512, taxiing Alpha 35, Watertown. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Puerto Lima, clearing at Charlie 2. Taxi back to 35, Watertown. All right. Well, that was scary.
Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, 4 to Lima, takeoff 3-5, and I'll be, be departing to the south, Watertown. Okay, some final are clear. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fort Lima, departing south, Watertown. Uh, yeah, so Tyson was just calling me how my hands are a little shaky. <laughs> I guess that's what happens to me when I get kind of nervous and start shaking. It's also a little chilly out. Um, that was awesome. No problems on the cruise up there, the cruise back. Well, no problems at all, but I did get nervous just getting into the traffic pattern up there with the traffic. You're trying to listen to all these radio calls. Meanwhile, trying to focus on your altitude and descending down to traffic pattern altitude. It's just a lot going on and it's different when you don't have someone sitting there as like extra eyes and ears. So that was kind of nerve wracking. I didn't love it, but I loved the cruise there and the cruise back. That was really fun. Beautiful night. Unfortunately, all the GoPros died on the way back, which happened to be one of my most perfect landings ever here at Madison. But uh, Tyson witnessed it, so that's really all that matters. I am going to take a break, going to cool my jets and eat something, and then it's time for a night flight. Ugh, it's chilly. Can I get a jacket on? All right, we had a quick little dinner, and now we're heading up. It's obviously dark, so we're going out for a night flight. We're going to head back to Watertown, where I just was, but I have a feeling it'll be completely different, seeing as I can't see anything. I'm going up with Nolan tonight. He's a different instructor, so that'll be fun. Kind of cool to see a new uh, perspective from a different instructor. I've been with Anne the whole time, so it'll be interesting. Maybe he'll have a lot of bad habits that he needs to kick out of me. Or maybe not. <laughs> not exactly sure what you'll be able to see here in this next video, but hopefully you can see a little bit of instruments and maybe some talking, but you probably won't be able to see too much. All right, base and final are clear. All right, go ahead, make your uh, before takeoff call and we'll depart to the north. Madison, South Dakota, Fort Tulima, takeoff 33, departing to the north. Madison. And correction in, hills the floor. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Very good, and as we speed up, we start taking out some of that aileron. Ah, uh, beautiful. Watertown traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, Fort Lima, 10 miles to the south inbound, Watertown. Beautiful. Do you see the Vassy lights? Oh, yeah. The rabbits? So, currently, what does it show that we have? Uh, three white and a red. Yeah, it's, it's kind of shipped in between two and three white. So... Just keep right on this glide path here. Okay. And uh, we'll just go ahead and shoot it straight in. Okay. And of course, while we're descending, uh, go ahead and turn on your landing light. That way other people around us can see. Go ahead and line it up for the center line, and uh, go ahead and slow down the airplane to an approach speed. And trim it out for 80. I'm going to pitch up for 80 just a little bit more, and then put a first knot. Okay. That's fine. Yep, and then you see how the wind's kind of pushing us off to the left here? Yep. Yep, go ahead, correct for that. Right, go ahead, set it up for center line. Turn a little bit of that right aileron. And we'll kick in that left rudder, straighten out the fuselage. Yep, we're just keeping the whole airplane over with our aileron. And if you feel like we need a little bit more power to get there, then yeah. you can go ahead and add it. Yep, get it over center line. Good. Pulling power back. Yep. Pull and power it back gradually. Alright, go ahead and flare it. Yep, just hold it right there. Keep holding it, keep holding her, keep holding her. Beautiful. Yep, we'll do a full stop and taxi back because okay. uh, night currency requirements say that we have to do a full stop. Okay. Good. That's a lot easier, ain't it? Yeah. 
Watertown traffic, Cessna 42 Lima, take off 35 pattern, Watertown. Good, nice little slow roll out of the ailerons. Pitching for 80. Beautiful. Just got back from my night cross country and it was a lot of fun. It is 12.15 in the morning and it was a really nice night. It was a way better experience than my first experience at night. It was a lot calmer, weather was a lot better. Um, but we went up to Watertown, did two landings up there and then came back to Madison, did three landings here. Overall, good experience. I think I knocked out all my time for night that's required. I just have a few more landings to do, but I was getting a little tired and so we didn't get all the landings in. Um, gonna do it all again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Ag Aviation Adventures. We're posting a bunch of day-to-day -day stuff there. Don't forget, learn and burn.